China is at war. A war against the COVID-19 epidemic. The novel coronavirus outbreak was first spotted last December in the central Chinese city of Wuhan, and it soon spread across the country, putting tens of thousands of people's lives at stake. Chinese President Xi Jinping called it "people's war" on the coronavirus outbreak. From the start of the outbreak, Xi, also General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee and Chairman of the Central Military Commission, commands the war. The message is clear: people's safety and health must be a top priority. To win the battle against the epidemic, as President Xi pointed out, China must rely on the people. The journeys from all walks of life answer to the call. Under Xi's leadership, China has taken unprecedented measures, including extended spring festival holidays, longer recess for students, and transport restrictions. To reduce the chances of cross infection, people voluntarily stay home and avoid meeting relatives and friends during the traditional family reunion season. All around, community-based efforts have been taken across the nation. Nearly four million community workers are fighting on the front line of 650,000 urban and rural communities following the outbreak. Community epidemic prevention and control is by no means easy. Every community is guarded by an average of six community workers, each of whom serves 350 residents. Several cities, including Beijing and Guangzhou, have ramped up community management. Including compulsory body temperature monitoring in a bid to keep the virus at bay. To keep things going, companies and schools have sought other solutions. Employees are working from home. Teachers are moving their classes online. People's efforts and willpower warrant China's confidence to score a victory, and they also greatly empower mass mobilization to contain the epidemic. In the hardest-hit Hubei province, donations, funds, medical supplies, and teams have been sent to help with the epidemic control. Wuhan, the epidemic's epicenter, has received at least 17,000 medics from across the country, including those from armed forces. Two makeshift hospitals, Leishenshan and Huashenshan, with a combined 2,600 beds. Were built within days after thousands of construction workers worked shifts around the clock, with the machinery operating 24/7. Some of Wuhan's big gymnasiums and public venues were also converted into modular medical shelters to accommodate people with mild symptoms. Adding another 10,000 hospital beds. On other fronts, Chinese aviation companies are working around the clock. To carry medical personnel and deliver emergency supplies to the virus-hit regions, many factories across the country have suspended their own production and turned to manufacture medical supplies to fill the demand gap amid the outbreak. It is indeed a people's war against the epidemic, also a huge threat to world people. In the war, every life counts. Every person's involvement and contribution in any form count. Following a unified command and pulling together efforts from all sectors are key to win the war. It also demonstrates China's ability in mobilizing people for the welfare of the people.